Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to write equilibrium expressions. So what is an equilibrium expression? Well it says right here that an equilibrium expression or KEQ in general terms is a comparison of the concentration of the products to the concentration of the reactants at a given temperature once equilibrium has been reached. Furthermore, it says that solids and liquids are assumed to have concentrations equal to one and are therefore left out of our equilibrium expression. And if KEQ is greater than one, then the concentration of the products will be greater than the concentration of the reactants at equilibrium. And if KEQ is less than one, then the concentration of the reactants will be greater than the concentration of the products. Now it's important to understand this concept that KEQ here is a general term. And what we can do is we can get more specific and talk about Kc when we're dealing with solution or gas concentrations and Kp when we're dealing with gas pressures at equilibrium. Okay, so let's take a look at an example here. We have a chemical reaction or a chemical equilibrium that's taking place right here. And we can tell this is at equilibrium because of the double arrow. One arrow is going to the right and one is going to the left. So what's happening here is that these two reactants are uh, reacting with one another to produce products over here, but these two products are also reacting with one another to produce reactants. And there's going to be an equilibrium that's reached between these two. And so if we take a look and we want to write the equilibrium expression, it's simple. All we need to do is take the product of the concentrations of our products to some sort of power and we're going to divide that by the product of the concentrations of our reactants raised to some sort of power and so if we take a look what is the power that these concentrations are going to be raised to well that's going to be the coefficient that comes in front of each of these substances in the balanced chemical equation so understand that concept. So if we wanted to write our equilibrium expression for this generic formula or chemical reaction that's taking place right here, it's simple. We're going to take the concentration of C raised to the power of C times the concentration of D raised to the power of D divided by the concentration of our reactants, the concentration of A raised to the power of A times the concentration of B raised to the power of B. And this will be our equilibrium expression. And this right here, this formula right here, is known as the law of mass actions. So understand that. Now we can also calculate the equilibrium pressures the same way, except we will see parentheses here instead of brackets. Brackets refer to concentrations, whereas parentheses refer to uh, pressures. So let's take a look at that next. Let's take a look at uh, Kc expressions versus Kp expressions and then let's apply those concepts to some real examples. And so it says right here that equilibrium expressions can be used to determine equilibrium concentrations or Kc of solutions and gases and they can also be used to determine the partial pressures of gases or Kp in a chemical equilibrium. And brackets are used to indicate the concentrations of gases in aqueous solutions, whereas parentheses are used to indicate pressures. So let's see what this means here. It says right here to write the equilibrium concentration expression for the following reaction. So if you take a look, we're asked to write the equilibrium expression, uh, the equilibrium concentration expression, or Kc, for the following reaction here. So to do this, all we need to do is take our products, the concentration of our products. In this case, we only have one product. So the concentration, we use brackets to denote concentration of HI to the power of 2 because the coefficient here is 2. And we're going to divide this by the product of the concentrations of our reactants. So if we take a look, our first reactant is H2. So we're going to take the concentration of H2 to the first power because we have a 1 here times the concentration of I2 raised to the first power since we have a 1 here. So our Kc expression for this chemical 
reaction right here is going to be Kc equaling the concentration of Hi squared divided by the concentration of H2 times the concentration of I. But what if we're asked to write the equilibrium pressure expression for the reaction? So in this case here, we want to know the partial pressures of each one of these gases once it reaches equilibrium. So now we're asked to figure out Kp. And so if you take a look here, it's exactly the same way that we just did over here, except we use parentheses to indicate the partial pressures of each one of these gases. So understand that concept, that parentheses is typically going to indicate the partial pressures at equilibrium, whereas the brackets are going to be used to indicate the concentrations at equilibrium. So if we're asked to write the Kp expression for this reaction right here we're going to do it the same way we have our product here which is hi and it's squared because the coefficient here is two and we're going to divide this by the partial pressures of each one of our reactants we have h2 here raised to the power of one because there's a one here times the partial pressure of i2 raised to the power of one here because there's a coefficient of one here so kp is going to equal the partial pressure of HI squared divided by the partial pressure of H2 times the partial pressure of I2 at equilibrium. So understand that concept, okay? So let's go ahead and work a few problems out where we apply these ideas of KC, KP, and KEQ. So in this first example here, we aren't using real chemical elements. Instead, we're just going to use a generic formula. So we have A plus 2BD producing 82 plus 2B. And so we're asked to write the KEQ expression for the reaction. So we don't know, uh, it's not telling us to, to write the KP for this, uh, for this chemical equilibrium. So to get our KEQ, it's simple. We're going to take the concentration of our first product, which is AD2, and it's to the power of 1, since there's a coefficient of 1 here, times the concentration of B squared, since there's a 2 right here. And then we're going to divide this by the concentrations of our reactant. So our first reactant is A. And remember that brackets here indicate concentrations, usually in moles per liter. And there's an imaginary 1 here, so this will be a 1. And then our second product is BD, and there's a 2 here, so we'll put a 2 right here. And so we can clean this up a little bit. We don't need to write co um, superscripts of 1 or exponents of 1, and so we can clean this up. And our KEQ expression here is going to be the concentration of AD2 times the concentration of B raised to the power of 2, all divided by the concentration of A times the concentration of BD squared. So here is what our equilibrium expression for this chemical reaction is going to look like. Let's take a look at another one. In this second example, it says to write the Kc expression for the following reactions. So the fact that it says Kc, we're dealing with concentrations, concentrations. And so if we take a look, we have all gases here. There's no solids or liquids. And so we need to include all of these substances in our equilibrium expression. So to get the Kc expression for this chemical Reaction, it's simple. We take the products, which there's only one product here, and because we're dealing with concentrations, we're going to use a bracket, and we're going to raise this to the power of 2, since our coefficient is 2 here. And we're going to end up dividing this by the concentrations of our reactants here. So we first reactant is N2, and we see that there is a coefficient of 1 here, so we'll just put the imaginary one right there, times the concentration of O2, also raised to the power of 1, because there's a 1 right here. So our Kc expression for the following chemical reaction, or chemical equilibrium, is right here. Kc equals the concentration of NO squared, divided by the concentration of N2 times the concentration of O2. 
Let's take a look at another example. In this second example, it says to write the KP expression for the following chemical reaction. So in this problem here, we're asked to write the KP expression. So we're trying to figure out the partial pressures of each one of these gases at equilibrium. So to get our KP expression, we simply take the partial pressures of our products. And so in this case here, we're going to use parentheses this time since we're dealing with pressures. And we have C2H6 raised to the power of 2 times the partial pressure of oxygen raised to the power of 1 since there's a 1 right here. And we're going to divide this by the partial pressure of C2H4 raised to the power of 2 times the partial pressure of H2O raised to the power of 2. So here is our KP expression for this equilibrium right here. To get our KP, we're going to take the partial pressure of C2H6 to the power of 2 times the partial pressure of O2 to the power of 1 divided by the partial pressure of C2H4 to the power of 2 times the partial pressure of water vapor to the power of 2. Let's take a look at a final example. In this last example, it says to write the KC and KP expressions for the following decomposition reaction. So if we take a look, we have a decomposition reaction. We have two gases as the product. And then we take a look that our reactant here is a solid. And keep in mind that we can always leave solids and liquids out of our equilibrium expressions. So let's first figure out what the KC expression is going to be here. If we're asked to calculate the concentrations of each one of these substances at equilibrium, we will use KC. And so KC is going to equal our products, our products, which in this case is the concentration of NH3 raised to the power of 1, since there's a 1 here, times the concentration of H2S, also raised to the power of 1, since there's a 1 here. And then we're going to end up dividing this by the concentration of NH4SH, but this is in a solid state. And so the concentration of NH4SH, because it's in a solid state, is going to be equal to 1. It's going to be equal to 1. And that is why we ultimately end up leaving out solids and liquids out of the equilibrium expression. So the Kc for this will simply be the concentration of NH3 times the concentration of H2S all over 1, which essentially is the concentration of NH3 gas times the concentration of H2S gas as our Kc expression. Okay, but what if we're asked to write the Kp expression? Well, this time we want to know the partial pressures of each gas at equilibrium. So to get our Kp, it's going to be very similar, except we're just going to use parentheses to denote partial pressures instead of brackets. So if we take a look here, we're going to take the partial pressure of NH3 times the partial pressure of H2S. all divided by 1. We can essentially leave out solids and liquids out of our Kp and Kc expressions. And so this is simply going to be the concentration of NH3 gas times the, I'm sorry, the partial pressure of NH3 gas times the partial pressure of H2S gas as our Kp expression. So Kp is going to equal the partial pressure of NH3 gas times the partial pressure of H2S gas. And our Kc is going to equal the constant, I'm sorry, the concentration of NH3 gas times the concentration of H2S gas. So there's our Kc and our Kp expressions. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner that's going to subscribe you to my channel. And feel free to leave any comments or questions down in the comment section down below. And I hope you guys found this helpful.